Hi guys, my name is Badalia, I'm a doctor and I'm also a DJ. Today I'm going to be answering your important questions on fighting COVID, busting some of the myths surrounding the virus and also answering your important questions on the vaccinations. Of course, I'm also going to be showing you a few of my favourite dance tracks as well. Let's go back to basics just for a moment. The main way the coronavirus spreads is when a person who is infected with the virus breathes, sneezes, coughs or speaks and another person breathes it in. We can actually also get the virus by touching something that someone else who has got the coronavirus has breathed, sneezed or coughed on as well. Therefore, if you have coronavirus, there is a chance you can still spread it onto furniture, door handles and benches, even without touching them. Some people who are infected with coronavirus will develop symptoms. The most common symptoms are a high temperature, where you may feel hot to touch on your chest or your back, a new continuous cough, which typically means coughing for more than one hour or three or more episodes of coughing in the space of 24 hours, or even a loss or change in your sense of taste or smell. A really important question to answer is, if I've had COVID before, can I be infected with the virus again? The answer is yes, you can be reinfected with coronavirus again. When you get infected by a virus, usually you gain some protection from further infection or reinfection, we also call it, from that same virus. We call this immunity and immunity can be short-lived or long-lasting. But with this immunity, it still means there is a chance of being reinfected. However, it might just protect us from severe disease from that same virus. We are still very early on in our research and data collection with regards to cases of reinfection of coronavirus. So with time, we will understand this better. A couple of really brilliant questions I was asked were, how can I protect myself and still have an enjoyable time as much as possible? And what are your top tips for feeling good? For me personally, and I'm sure this relates to a lot of you watching this, I miss going to the cinema, playing sport with my friends, going out for meals, giving my friends and family a hug, just doing the normal things that we love doing. The most important things for us to do are to keep on top of our physical and mental health. So this means going outdoors for fresh air, enjoying exercise, and even exercising with a friend or family member as long as the rules allow it, eating and drinking well, calling friends and family more often, but also finding hobbies or new interests that you can develop at and even take forwards into the future once the pandemic is over. This will give you that sense of achievement and something exciting to work towards. You're all doing incredibly well and now it's just about giving yourself that final push so that we can keep our bodies and our minds healthy. As young people, we are exposed to so much information on a daily basis, in particular on social media. There are a lot of very interesting theories out there on COVID. Many which seem believable, but often are not true. I have seen theories out there saying that the virus was engineered in a lab, that it's being spread on purpose, being developed as a bioweapon for powerful people who are planning on injecting it into people as microchips so that they can monitor them, that it's a hoax, and even that the swab testing itself infects people with coronavirus. But none of these are true and none of these have been backed up by any scientific evidence. Naturally, this leads to the question, why is COVID happening and where did it come from? Well, scientists believe that the ecological reservoir of COVID is in the bat population. But the question is, how did the virus get from bats to people? Currently, scientists believe that the bat transmitted the virus to wild species and these wild farm species were being sold as part of wet markets in China where they sell animals for food and it's from there these animals then infected humans. It's still very unclear to scientists what that intermediate host was 
what was that particular animal that spread the virus from bats to humans? But this is being researched in considerable depth and hopefully we'll have answers to this very soon. I'm now going to answer your questions on the COVID-19 vaccines. A very important conversation for us to have because there is a lot of information out there and a lot of confusion. The COVID-19 vaccine is an injection which is given into the top of your arm and it is given in two doses. The second dose is usually given between three and 12 weeks after the first dose. Vaccines save millions of lives every year. They work by training and preparing the body's natural defense system, the immune system, to recognize and destroy viruses and bacteria that the body encounters later on, therefore preventing illness. Or the vaccine delivers some genetic information which provides our cells with an instruction to produce a protein that is similar to the protein that's present in COVID-19 and our body is then able to produce an immune response to this and protect us further down the line. The vaccines approved for use in the UK are safe and have met strict standards of safety, quality and effectiveness set out by the MHRA, the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, who are internationally recognised. Once you've had the vaccine, it is very important to continue following the government guidance, for example, on social distancing, because it is still possible to spread the virus once you've had the vaccine. These vaccines are the next step to get us back to our normal lives and to keep our families safe. I am really excited to see you guys return back to your normal lives, hopefully really soon, so that we can see our friends, go to the cinema, go shopping, play sport and hug people. If you need any further information, make sure you use reliable sources of information. For example, the NHS website, the government website, Public Health England or the World Health Organization, or ask one of your teachers to guide you. I hope that answered your important questions on fighting COVID, busting the myths and vaccinations. Thank you for watching.